What's going on guys? This is the Counter Tyrant here. Uh, just uh, doing a quick uh, little arena update video. Um, I guess while I'm getting this stuff set up. They uh, they just released a new um, video detailing the changes that's going to take place with the you know, choice tickets. And honestly, I think they're all really good. Um, there's a couple things I would have done a little differently. Um, but overall, it's a really good system. Just to give a super quick summary. Um, summon, fest, summon fest units, it's not really happening. They're, uh, they're not doing the, like, exclusive pool where you can only pull them during some fest periods. They're gonna be added to the regular pool. And they're taking out older units. They didn't say, like, at, like, what place in time these older units are, uh, like, like wh where the cutoff is. They didn't say that. Um, it starts on Thursday, so that's that's pretty important to take note of. Um, but and you can UOC one of their prisms, so you still have to pull one of these units. And this is moving forward. It sounds like it doesn't sound like there's going to be some units that aren't like this. Some that are. It sounds like moving forward from now on. You can't UOC the unit, you UOC a prism. Um, the prism will cost 8 tickets instead of 10, which is a huge bonus, because basically, right the, as it is now, it takes about 3 to 4 months to, to get a full UOC. Now it's going to take 2 to 3 months, um, especially if you count the uh, Indignant, Chamber of Indignant and all that stuff, because um, we usually get... Uh, one of those like once a month or so um outside of that uh what else you can trade in your uh you can trade in your UOCs for lapis um they didn't put too much details into that it's 2000 for the first ticket you submit um and then 1500 for all the subsequent tickets um they didn't say like because it's they said it's like an event so it's think like uh, how the uh, Kektar Desert or whatever used to be or the um, Cavern of Hidden Treasures or whatever that thing is that where really you can get a pot and stuff like that um, think like that that's what it seems like um, and some people were like oh, I don't like that and it's like no you it's really pretty good because you like I have 19 tickets right now so it's 2,000 for one and then 1,500 for the other 18 that's 29,000 lapis just out of nowhere I haven't used my UOC tickets I was planning on holding them until uh, Warrior of Light came out or if there was some like busted global uh, exclusive precursor that wasn't limited but that's it um, I was actually considering recently using him on uh, getting Alfreda to get her uh, STMR because I'm I have a build that it's not this build. I'll, I'll get it while I'm talking since I'm not in the arena part right now. Um, I'm close to a, a really awesome build with her, um, but she's extremely like self-sufficient. But uh, like where she is the unit. I mean, she's got 2,000 attack, almost 1,100 defense, almost 1,200 spirit. She's got a fair amount of uh, uh, MP. It's not that. It's not super high. It's not super low. She's got almost 18,000 HP. That's a lot. Like that's a lot for Alfredo. And you know, maybe wonder, man, how are you getting these numbers? Well. I use doors on her for uh, attack, defense, spirit, and HP. So she's at like 810. <laughs> she get a, a HP out of nowhere. Um, not quite Demon Reign's HP numbers because he, if you pot him, like he's probably hitting 30k. Not even lying. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, look, I mean, she's got all the. I mean, I've got the right Esper on her. I've got. Uh, you can either use. Siren or um, Tetrasil feed to get the the anti sleep, but as she is outside of that, this is what she gets with this 
the catastrophic set gives you a hundred percent petrify resistance and then she already has confusion and peril uh yeah confusion and paralyzed resistance so there's that um i have demon's gambit which i just got demon reigns uh stmr jacobo adventure dark aspirations i would change out dark aspirations for her stmr um, if we ever get Victor Machenko again, I would definitely try to use STMR Moogles on him. His thing is 80% defense if you're wearing heavy armor and resistance to the be like the worst status ailments. Paralyze, Confusion, Sleep, and Petrify. The four were like the four big ones. Because I mean, blind not a huge deal like that's you can solve that on your turn poison not a big deal silence that's for mages don't care about that and then disease once again you can solve that during your turn your, during your turn paralysis and um confusion petrify sleep those all are not fun um paralysis and petrify is okay but sleep's okay too Confusion is definitely the worst of the four because, like, you you lose that turn, uh, yeah, unless like, yeah, no, you you lose that turn. Um. Anyways, I was thinking about getting Truth Seeker, which, uh, just to show what it does, it's thirty percent defense, spirit, and HP. So super similar to um, uh, Judge's Oath, but it also gives fifty percent uh, True Double Hand instead of the elemental resistance that uh, Judge's Oath gives. So I would be able to get rid of Martial Glove, put that on, because she only needs 50%, because her passives get her up to the 300% mark um, with Martial Glove. But if you have that instead, you can get rid of Martial Glove and I would put on um, probably uh, like uh, Seraph Comb. Red 13's TMR. I'd probably do that, or... I don't know. Something else. But, uh... But no, I mean, these are busted stats. Like, she's so good. Um, anyways. Uh, I think I covered pretty much everything. Um, that's on the UFC thing. It's, uh... It's good. I think it's good. Um, my... Oh, my, my one critique... Um, I would have made it where units from 28, and this is like, I of course have a bias here, but units 2018 and before only cost five summon, summon tickets. That's what I wish they would have done. That's not something that's official. So don't <laughs> like, oh man, Tyrant says this is happening. It's happening. No, no, no. That's what I think that they should have done. Um, I think that would have been a really good move for, for, uh, free to play. I got some news. Oh. course sometimes news does this where you have to close the game out and reopen it i'm sure it's a, it's talking about yeah it's it's what it's talking about what i'm talking about oh they updated the rainbow rates are always going to be five percent so five percent is going to be the standard um on banner is going to be 1.5 percent as opposed to one percent it used to be three percent with one percent of the three percent i'm sorry one percent out of the three percent being on banner now it's one and a half um it's not, it doesn't sound like a lot but it, re it really is helpful especially with them cutting down on the summon pool um uh you might be wondering well if they're cutting down the summon pool where are all those other units going you can still get them ver uh, via um, ex summon and with how much they've been giving out ex summons lately I expect we're just going to continue to see a lot of those because I the, there's a, there's there's a lot of incentive for them to hand them out even more now because they're not as valuable. So if you are trying to get older units still, um, yeah, it's just there's a lot of double edged swords here because now it's, it's like are you someone's not going to be able to summon limited time units anymore? Because I mean I've taken advantage of that before. Um. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. But, uh, I don't know. We'll find out on Thursday. We'll find out more on then. 
because that's when uh king rain king aldor rain king rain of aldor um he, he's coming out um and though all those changes are going to be effective thursday so big big stuff here anyways uh back to the main reason why i'm uh in here uh pre- presenting um you might be wondering was that uh, t- tyrant what in the world is this team um and this is the divine ruination counter team so you got both and lucius everyone knows that they're like the counter beasts like they uh they pair together really well when they're when they're going um when, when they're paired together in the arena but carton brand new unit he has the same counter um, I didn't research prior to, but I swore he had a counter also when you're, when you're, um, when his allies get hit, not him. Um, I might do a, a separate video on that. I didn't look it up to confirm, but, um, I tried finding the ability when I was recording the other day, couldn't find it, whatever. Um, Esther also has a counter with Divine Ruination. And then you're like, Elfrida, she doesn't, that's not one of her counters. She does counter, but that's not one of them. Well, we have Starguard. Um, Starguard, uh, it's a 40 attack, 30% light resist. But uh, it's this 10% dodge physical attacks. It's great. I mean, if you got Sea Dragon um, and that dodge roll thing, a couple other materials, you're going to get to 100% and have this on. Really good stuff. Um, uh, 10% chance dodge physical attacks, and then 40% counter with Star Guard, um, which is a Divine Ruination chain. So, the, this gimmick's not as strong as some of the other gimmicks that I've listed. Um, so because you can't, you can't really force it. You can't force the the counters to happen because they're like 30 to 40 percent chance or so um but it's really cool um so let's let's uh let's go ahead and display what what i'm talking about here hopefully the opponent goes first um biggest kill that i've done so far with it is before i even used a, an ounce of mp killed two two of their units um carton willis and lucius all have uh Aurora Ray, so that's helpful too. Um, okay, sweet. Okay. See, the problem with with using Alfreda in this uh, with the strategy is she has two other. Um, counters and it interferes with that um, because a counter uh, is only ignited off of a hit it, it, a, a single hit won't ignite multiple different counter attacks it only ignites one um, and there's probably some algorithm that decides which one gets ignited I don't know how that works but uh And play against sets or whatever. Um, so I mean, it's a it's a fun idea. I could give uh, Carton um, I could give him Necro Dagger, and then he would per- he would uh, Elmo chain with Lucius and Lilith. But we're not gonna go that far. Not right now. Um, Odin's always super solid. Yeah, so this is not similar to the Elfrida, the other Elfrida team I have, where, um, if Elfrida gets attacked, all the other people respond, she responds, they're all wind elemental chaining, it's just stuff's flying left and right. No, we're not doing that. This is just a really aggressive physical attacking team. Um, that's how Lilith, she's the... Uh, spirit scaling magic attacker. So, I mean, we're not going to have a lot of luck here. Especially going first. 
Um, a reading tape should be quick and straight to the point, unless you're really trying to do something gimmicky, like what Strategy was just talking about, where you want them to attack Alfredo. That's just the, like, it's just fun to watch, because they all, like, they're countering together and everything. Shao with, uh, Lilo looks really cool, because they, they both have, like, similar movesets. Like, they're both monks. Um... Emperor's out there doing his thing because Melancholic Cell lets him counter when when an ally's hit. So, um, which is a really cool ability. I, I wish they'd give more people that that because then it, it makes it where more more uh, LB Chris and Esper Chris are being generated on your opponent's turn. See, look at all that spark chaining. Look at all that sets are gone. No wild card for you. Man, how is Esther always the one that lives? Always. Okay. We should use some AoE move. Nope. nope just, just gonna heal her. And she's gone. I'll go over the builds in just a second, but I'm just going to wrap this up real quick. Um, I pretty much displayed what the point is. Wait, is that, was that it? Oh. I screwed up somewhere. I don't know how I got to 55. Um, okay, so... We'll go to the units real quick. I'll just show the builds. Um, so, Lilith, she has her Midnight Star. Got HP 40 and 10 and Spirit 7% on it. Um, Imperial, Ar Imperial Armor. Honor of Grand Shelt, Emperor's Ring. The three STMRs there. Beach Girls and Noel's Legacy. STMRs there. So, she's got five total STMRs. Really good unit. I haven't done enhancements on her or uh, Lucius yet. Um, I'm just gonna. I, I, I don't know. I just haven't done it yet. But, because the last couple of units that I've enhanced, I just didn't use them that much afterwards. And it's like, dang, that was a. That was a lot of enhancement, Chris, and stuff. And that stuff's not always easy to come by. Um, Lucius, we've got Ragnarok and Aegean Arm. Um, Glorious Headpiece. Scarlet Moon, upgrade package, that's the, that and Glorious Headpiece, two STMRs there, um, and everything else is TMRs and stuff. Then we got Carton, he's got his own STMR, the Wild Fang Heirloom, and that's it. Everything else is just TMRs. Uh, Esther has her own sword, it's not a TMR, it was just an event, uh, weapon, um, gives her 15% buffed HP and I have the seal of life and power giving her 20 and 20 of attack and HP and I have 10 and 10 additional so it just makes her really 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 like beefy <laughs> like look at that 16,000 um storm bunny jacket her own STMR shortcake uh Rena's STMR and that's that Alfreda, my pride and joy. Got uh, Ultima Weapon, Red Hellbore, Vagan's Overcoat, um, Demon's Gambit. So, just trying to trying to get a uh, Truth Seeker. Show that again real quick. Um, that's it. That's it, y'all. I mean, it's nothing crazy. Um, let me know what teams you run down below. Uh, what 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 do you like to do in the game? Um, fun stuff. Let's see if it's gonna let me see this now. No, sorry, y'all. I, I have to close the game out to and then reopen it, and it'll show. And I, that's what happens whenever they post news, like when I'm in the middle of playing. If I open the game fresh and it's there, then it's fine. But if if I open it and they add it, like since I've closed it and the game's 
like still running or whatever. It, uh, it just doesn't work. Anyways, y'all, uh, this has been the Counter Tyrant. Glad y'all were able to come out and uh, uh, listen to me go on about the EOC thing. Um, they still got ch- time to change it. Uh, I'll show you. Wait, we'll run through here real quick. I'm talking about it, I guess. View list. So you can sort now by ticket cost, which is something that uh, Clay Kizolt and I believe Hal definitely Clay has pointed out is that you can sort by ticket cost, and they obviously Hal's definitely pointed this out that they have the little tens under it. All they have to do is just change it to five. Change it to five. Come on, because then I can get two Alfreda for ten tickets. <laughs> I, if I had my way and that, and that was what happened, I'd get two Elfridas for 10 and I would get a Leela. I really like fun units. I mean, I, I don't have Seagart. I don't have his TM, his TMR yet. Um... But, uh, yeah. But they probably won't do that because, like, <laughs> it's like Zargabath. Or, like, he at least at the bottom. Because I'm one away from his, uh, his STMR. I mean, Elfrida. I mean, not Elfrida. Oops. Oops. Frivia. Like, this unit has not been used in so long. It's been like a easily a year since I've actually played with regular Frivia. Um, Aurora Frivia, she needs her ability, Waking's bad. They should have revamped her when they when they did all the fan festy units. Um, cause she stinks. Like her multipliers are absolute trash. They 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 need to wipe her clean and, and restart. Like really cool idea, poor execution. Um but yeah, y'all, that, that's been that. Um, hope y'all like the video. Feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what y'all are doing in the arena. Let me know what you think about the UFC. And uh, I'll talk to you next time. Have a good one, y'all.